Hello and welcome to the Arnie Slot Quadruple Tour. I am Ty for those who don't know and I'm going to be reacting to all the Liverpool games throughout the season. Now normally for the ones who do know I normally have my brother with me Kieran and my old man Ronnie. Unfortunately they couldn't be here today for the first game which personally I think is outrageous. Kieran's working, he's flying abroad and the old man's having a stag do as he's getting married in two weeks which I will be attending later but there are more important things in the matter than getting married and that is the Liverpool's first game of the season against Ipswich. As we're about to kick off, I'm going to try and phone the pair of them just to get their score predictions as normally they come out with reasonable ones for those who've been watching us for the past few years. Hello, you right? Yeah, good man. Score prediction as it's the first one. 2-0. I am on my way towards the stag do. Very excited. Almost was almost sick this morning because of excitement. What are you saying on the game? 4-0. I'm doing a Kieran. They only lost six games last season. I know, but it's a different kettle of fish, this. I know, I know. And the, game, and the season before that lost four... Yeah. So I'm saying, let's say if they lose eight this year. <laughs> well, if they lose eight next year, they could be playing Champions League football. All right, enjoy, mate. Okay, I'll you too. You I'll see you later, all right? See ya. See you. Love you, bye-bye. All right, let's try Kieran. The person you're calling is on another line. Apparently, I'm not important enough for him. Either way, I'm saying 4 0 Liverpool. I think we're going to kill him. I love Jota and I love Salah and I love this team. Oh, here he is. Hello? Hello, so I was having a nervous pre match week. I just need a score prediction from you. 4 0. Oh, that's why I said 4 0. No, Salah's going to score a hat trick. Oh, perfect. If he does, he's in my FPL team as my captain. I'm going to try and watch the game in a, in a multi story car park. <laughs> I wish we got with the signal. <laughs> okay, good luck. One's going to the pub on a stag. The other's watching it in an airport car park. I am very excited, actually, for this new season. I know a lot of people are a bit sceptical because this is the post-Klopp era. And notoriously, and I've said before, when you get rid of a figurehead like Sir Alex, like Arsene Wenger, it's very natural to go downhill. But I'm actually confident. From what I've seen of pre-season, the team isn't any weaker than it was before. We haven't strengthened because the new lad we tried to sign just decided not to come to us, which, like I've said before, if you don't want to come, I don't want you, it's fine. Money apparently talks over there. They offered him a new deal, so fair enough. I don't mind Graver Birch actually in the six. Not really seen it since he's joined us. Not really set the world alight either since he's joined us, but this, especially playing under a Dutch manager, is a great opportunity for him to nail that start in 11 spot. Mate, Jota is the boy. He is my favourite. I'm so glad he's up top instead of Darwin. I know that's mainly because of the Copper America and his arrival. Late, but I just think Jota is well classed, the most underrated centre forward in the whole league. Like he would start for any team in the league, whether it was in the central role or out wide. Just even Man City. Like I know you play Haaland down the middle, but you get Jota even just as a a second striker with him or on the left or something. He's just class. Something we've all predicted as well as a clean sheet, which hasn't been notorious one for Liverpool and the Premier League in general so many teams score goals at the minute so I'd be intrigued to see actually how well Liverpool do in that aspect because last year we were conceding too many silly goals which cost us the run in towards the end where we're getting a few draws because there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to score goals like the best keeper in the world best right back best left back best center half and a very hot prospect that we should be doing a lot better in that aspect than we do I could do with this going on Quantas head because he's in my FPL team I brought him in for a 4.5 million, which I think for a Liverpool centre half is an absolute bargain. Go on. Here we go on Quanta's head. Oh, he just missed it. Oh, he missed it. Why didn't he head it? That would have been 1 0 and a few points in the FPL. I do want to hear your thoughts in the comments, though, on how you think we're going to get on this season. Like top goal scorer positions, what we're missing, what you're excited about. Just give me all your information because I haven't heard from you lot in a while because we haven't uploaded because obviously Liverpool haven't played. But it's been a while, so I want to hear from a lot of old faces. And if you're new as well, give me your two cents because we always read the comments and I'm always intrigued to see what other Liverpool fans or football fans in general think, whether it's negative or positive. They're one on one. Keep them wide, Trent. Keep them wide. No, oh, don't let him tuck. No, 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 no. Oh. Thank God we got the greatest goalkeeper alive. Oh, come on, lads. That was from our set piece. Keep doing this thing, actually, where centre-halves are getting the ball and then, like, the full-backs, like Robertson, they'd invert behind them to make, like, an overload in the central when playing out. I think that's mainly so when they come in, it makes the winger follow them, potentially. So you've got one straight pass out to your winger, which is then one-on-one -on -one with a fullback, which is the ideal scenario, especially for a team like us, when you've got wingers like Salah and Diaz. It's what Arsenal do with Saka and Martinelli. Fullbacks invert. Not as the way we're doing it, though, because we seem to be going around the centre-half, which is a very weird approach to do it, but it's mainly just to get the ball to your attacking players. You're better footballers as quickly as you can. Well done, Jota. So good. Handball? 
can just pick it up. That's a second yellow. He's got to go. That is a second yellow card every day of the week. How was that not a yellow card? Got bodied by Jota and then just used his arm to parry it away. There's no world where you do that with your arm to the ball. You don't get booked. Intentionally blocking the ball. Why are we talking about Ed Sheeran? No one gives a monkeys what he's got to do. Just talk about the game. Okay, well, they'll be very happy with that first half at switch. I thought they actually played quite well. I mean, obviously we had our moments, but I thought they were aggressive. They played football when they had the ball and they created one or two chances and they didn't really look like conceding at all that first half. So fair play to them. They've got to come out and do it in the second half. And I think the issue they're going to find is when their star man, Ed Sheeran, has got to go to his concert in Serbia, that they're going to struggle to find that inspiration and passion that they had in that first half. I'm looking for a more positive half here. I've gone, got my egg sandwich, had some time to reflect as well on the half, what I could have done better, what I need to improve on. I think more positive energy is needed to get a top result here. No, oh, Kwan's is off. He's in my FPL team. God's sakes, that's just one point and we've made a sub. And more importantly, I hope that's nothing serious. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought he was giving a penalty. Oh, ref ain't got a Scooby what he's doing. Right, need to check a few things. One, is he offside? And then two, is that a pen? Is he giving it for that? No, it's not a pen. It's never a pen. Might be offside. It's not a pen. You can forget that right now. Thought they were approving the silly VAR thing, huh? Clear and obvious. There's nothing clear and obvious about any of that. Nice. That's well class. Go on. Go on, Jota. Pen. Pen, pen, pen. It was the same thing they just had. That's a pen. Oh, you've got to be joking. But if they were given the other one, that's more clear than the first one that they had. Ref has not got a Scooby-Doo. The refs don't have a clue in this league. So watching the one from the Man United game last night, he looks like a fell policeman. Running around, well, barely running. He was like towing a caravan on his back. His heels were flicking up. Gassing every two seconds. Oh, they just don't know what they're doing. Here we go. Good ball, Trent. Yes! No! Ah. Oh, how's he missed? That is a world-class cross. Oh, you bet your house on it. Oh, he doesn't miss those. That should be 1-0, guaranteed. Oh, I've been backing him up so much recently as well. The first ones were right because they were blocking it, but that, that is on the money. It's better, better, better. Go on, go on. Yes! There he goes. Just missed a sitter. Scores then. Perfect. Have that 1-0. Great football. Diego Jota. Class from Trent. Class from Salah. And Jota should have scored literally two seconds ago. That is a world-class ball from Trent. Great from Salah. And then, I mean, he's never missing that. He was never missing the first one, surely. But here we go. Right, let's open them up, floodgates. Because they're going to have to come out now. As long as we don't do something silly and we keep the pressure on, keep playing this football that we have for the last five minutes, two, three will start coming. And hopefully that deflates them a bit because they have been good for an hour. Been very impressed with them. But oh, just sometimes that quality there from Trent and Salah. And you can't give a player like Jota that many great opportunities should have scored the first one made up for it within a minute so much better boys well done they're struggling now they're starting to drown in the deep end go on let's get a second let's finish him ball go on take him on one-on-one -on -one. go on yes does what he does best Mohamed Salah scores on the opening day 2-0 thank you very much never in doubt with him never in doubt FPL captain as well what a time to be alive yes Mohamed Salah that makes him the all-time top goal scorer on the opening day of the Premier League with nine, I think, which beats Shiro, Rooney, Lampard. Don't doubt the boy. Don't doubt the king. Top win, 2-0, kept the clean sheet. Mohamed Salah breaks the records. Arnie Slot Ball is in full force and Liverpool have begun their tour to win the quadruple once again. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video and make sure you get your comments down below of what you thought of Arnie Ball as it's in full force.